Hi guys, Jim Harvey here again. I want to take you through one of our latest prezzes that we've created for a client. It's a really simple one and it just shows you how you can use Prezi visually more than anything else. So many of the Prezzi's that we see are just crammed full of text and zooms and swirls and spins and pans that you can actually lose Prezi's greatest asset which is its ability to communicate visually with an audience in support of the speaker. So here's a Prezi that I'm going to walk you through that we've created as a series for a client as part of face-to-face -face training sessions. So it's a Prezi that will be used by a trainer to deliver simple messages to groups of people. The subject, as you can probably tell by looking at it, is how networking is like poker. Um, so I'm not going to give you the whole presentation, but I just want you to see a couple of things. That's <coughs> essentially... This Prezi is an image that one of our designers has drawn, thanks to it's brilliant. We've chosen a blacked out, sort of slightly cartoonish version, but we've got the full colour renderings if you're interested in seeing those things. But we thought it looked cool uh, and in theme with, the, uh, with the, the, the customer. Anyway, so you can see that it's essentially just a picture. And we have built the Prezi to help us use the picture to help us tell our story. Uh, and the story is something to do with how um, networking is like poker. So, let's get into it. Let's present it. <clears throat> let's put it on full screen. And let's go. So, how come networking is like poker? Well, networking is like poker because poker is one of those few card games that is actually not a game of chance. It's a game of probability. In that you can win any hand with much worse cards than your opponent simply by playing them better. And how do you play them better? You use the laws of probability. Networking is exactly the same because it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter who you represent, it doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how experienced you are, that simply by understanding some of the fundamental rules of networking, you can play a great game. And in the presentation, uh, as part of this training session, we decided that we'd talk about three particular areas of networking. And you can see them here on the cards that the girl is chucking towards us, which has a really nice kind of dramatic 3D visual effect. We're going to talk about energy, we're going to talk about offering value as your network, and we're going to talk about the importance of keeping in touch. Because in discussions with the client and developing the story, those were the core focuses that the client wanted us to have. So anyway, I'm not going to do the presentation, but I'll just show how it is. So you make your big visual picture impression. The message is as simple as the one you see on screen now. Networking's like poker. Why? Because it's a game of chance. It's not a game of chance. It's a game of probability. One of the three things we want to talk about today, we want to talk about energy and having that in the right place. We want to talk about offering value. And we want to talk about keeping in touch. And so as presenters, most of the information that we're going to give is verbal, examples and stories and exercises. And so the visuals are simply emphasising the key points that we're going to tell. So as we go through the presentation, we talk about the three aces of networking. And we'd start off with energy and say that there are three types of energy and spend 30 minutes maybe with this image up on the screen, doing exercises and examples. But remember the visual as an emphasiser of the verbal, not a carrier of the information. When we finish talking about energy, the trainer would then go back to the big picture and say, remember, that's the first ace. Let's have a look at the second ace. And the second ace, of course, is offering value. So we just do a little spin and zoom, nothing too sick making, to put the next visual on the stage. And then when we've done that, we go back to the big picture again, remind them of why we're here. That deliberate repetition helps you make the points that you want to make. And then we talk about keeping in touch. And then we go back to the main picture. And so all we've done is created a quirky, interesting, simple Prezi using a simple graphic, a well-constructed message, and Prezi to its best advantage. Thanks. And if you like what you see, and you'd like us to do that for you as well, of course, get in touch. I'm Jim Harvey. 
We help our customers stand out from the crowd every time they stand up to speak. It's been great talking to you and I hope to see you again sometime soon.